everybody was talking about how that first four games were going to kind of determine who we were before we got that break. They win the first game over the Lions by like, you know, 50 something to whatever, and they're winning games uh, left and right, scoring in the 40s, scoring in the 50s. The offense is rolling, the defense is rolling. Uh, they're forcing these turnovers in, in, in games. We traveled to Philadelphia, I think that was week two, and look, they had a good roster, and, and, and uh, man, we went in there and we scored 40 some points. Uh, you know, Darren Sharper had, I think, a 100 yard return for a touchdown, maybe another interception or two, and, and uh, man, our offense just looked and felt unstoppable, and our defense um, made a lot of big plays, you know, creating turnover, sacks. Um, um, you know, three and out stops. So to go on the road to Philadelphia and you know, you know play against a, 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 a great, very talented team like that, and Sean really built that one up big. And they talked about how, hey, if we go out there and, and we can take this crowd out of the game early, that crowd is going to turn on that team quickly. He said, so let's get up on these guys early. And if you guys do what I'm asking you to do, he said, we're going to get on the bus, the team bus is after the game, we're going to take a couple of victory laps around the stadium. It was a hot game in Philly, and I mean, we beat them. We beat them well. It was those kinds of things that, man, you, you know, I walked away from that game, came, you know, left that game thinking, boy, we got a really good team here. So sure enough, we come out and just steamrolled these guys from the moment the game started. And um, sure enough, we get back to the buses and we take the victory lap around the stadium. And those Philadelphia fans, those who stuck around, throwing eggs at us, throwing beer bottles at us. But I mean, it was like, it was sweet glory, and it was exactly what Sean wanted us to do from the Saint 26. It's with another huge play on special teams for the Saints. Turns it up to the 20, jumps over a tackler, 10, five, fighting to the goal line. He's in! And what happened though was, you know, we won the first one, we won the second one, then all of a sudden the third one, and then at some point confidence is gained from, from those wins, and then all of a sudden you're winning six and seven. We're undefeated and we're rolling right along and we're playing better, more confident than we'd ever shown in the previous three years, even though we went to the NFC Championship. That 09 team was way more confident and seemed like we had made way more ability. And we were making big plays on defense too. That's something that we had not been able to do. Miami game was one um, where I think we realized that that you know we, we were doing something pretty special. All I can remember from that game, it was hot, and that first half we were just dragging tail, and they were giving it to us. I remember Ricky Williams running about 80 yards, and nobody touched him. All right, but you know. We have Drew Brees, and you got Drew Brees, anything's possible. So that second half came out, and I think we ran a, a kind of a trick play where the guards and the line would go opposite way, and Drew just kind of supermans over. I think he spikes it, and we're still down two touchdowns, but everyone kind of looked at him like, okay, like, we're really gonna do this. You hadn't seen that from Drew before. Um, we, you know, we kind of knew he was athletic, and. Uh, once he got up, it was just kind of a different, a different thing that, that we had ever seen from Drew. I remember Drew getting the dunk, all right, Reggie jumping from about the, the eight, all right, all these things happened. We ended up blowing him out by like 20. And I was like, dude, we coming back here. And we're coming back with a vengeance. That game right there really kind of solidified like, all right, all these other teams, we got bigger goals now. This is where we need to be going. Find a way offensively and defensively, play after play, just fight our way back and win, win that game. And, that too, knowing that the Super Bowl was in Miami, coming in the locker room and just that feeling, and then looking around and saying, we can have this feeling again. You know, let's get back here. We were not gonna let things get in our way. We had, no matter if the offense started slow, the defense had their back. If the defense started slow, the offense had their back. It was one of those things that we were not gonna let each other down. We were all pulling in the same direction. Everybody, all 53, even the 10 practice, eight practice squad guys at the time, we're all on the same page. But that team itself, we, there was an unyielding willingness to do whatever it took to win a game for the person beside us.
So I, I think that it's a little bit like a snowball that all of a sudden builds, builds up some momentum and the players believe and then all of a sudden you get that much more from everybody. So we had this momentum and we had this mindset ever since week one and we were just, we, 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 we kept the pedal down and we were able to score points and our defense was turning the ball over and uh, we're, we're getting turnovers. It was just, uh, you know, it was a beautiful thing. Man, I was uh, home sitting on the couch watching uh, arguably one of the best seasons uh, of the Saints history, uh, chopping at the bit, you know, still working out, training. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of guys go down. Tracy got hurt, Javari got hurt, and I mean, the list was going on. Uh, reading the paper, Sean Payton, bringing guys in for a workout. I'm like, what? I mean, workout? Let me get on this phone and call Sean up, let him know, man, I'm ready for action. Sean accepted my call, said, come on in, we're gonna work you out. Yeah, uh, Jabari Greer and, and Tracy Porter have both been injured and missed, missed some games that year. And and look, Mike, Mike was a, a real good uh, player for us for a lot of years. He, he had the misfortune of being injured, um, I think the year before and maybe even the year before that. Um, but he, he knew our team, he knew the defense. At that point in the season, you, you're, you're scrambling to find somebody, and, and here was a guy we were familiar with that had made plays. And I just remember, you know, just the focus that I had that week, uh, not wanting to let any of my teammates down, and, you know, just wanting to, you know, put it all out there Monday night. I don't know how he did it. That, that just shows the type of, of player he, he really was and the type of character and the, just the heart that he had. A little bit of an approved game against a, a quality opponent. And he has a perfect passer rating in this game. Uh, uh, something like five touchdowns, maybe five touchdowns and five incomplete passes. I don't even remember what it was, 370 some yards. There are some st uh, statistical services or whatever that, that have compared it to all the other perfect passer rating games in NFL history and say this is the best single game performance by a quarterback in any game ever. I felt like I was getting more tired running to the end zone after these long plays than actually blocking. It was crazy. Like every other play was a big play. That was a defining moment for us because obviously you're playing um, probably the best team in, 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 the, in the decade. And that was a game where we thought it was gonna be high scoring and it ended up being high scoring. We just got out ahead enough, enough points uh, that gave us a, a good enough cushion. So um, for them to come in here, um, it was kind of a test for us. How good is the Saints team? You know, can they beat the elite of the elite? Um, and yeah, we did just that. Um, and, and I think we, that we really showed the world that we weren't to be messed with. We were a team that um, had great ambition and, and was on a mission. And I think after that game, everyone had that feeling of, you know what? This is our season. There's no question about it. You knock down the champs. It was one of those magical, special seasons that you can't explain. We had the angriest, winningest coaches in the league. Uh, we were undefeated. I remember we were 10-0. and 0. Uh, We were just crushing everyone in 2009. But the coaches, just, it wasn't good enough. It was never good enough. But here's what they knew. They knew that human nature, when we're successful, is to slack off. And so they knew they had to push us even harder and even harder and even harder. Coach Payton, he had a pulse on the team and he knew what we needed when we needed it. And it, and it made for a special year. The Washington game where we go on the road after just beating New England on Monday night, we're 10 and 0, we're feeling really good about ourselves. Or, and, and then, uh, you know, going there and knowing that we're in for an all day sucker, you know, and they get up by a lot. I'm running trying to tackle him. And I just see Meacham just rip it and grab it. And then it went from tackle to, oh, I got to block again. 
And then I think there was like bodies everywhere. And I tried to hurdle somebody and I ended up busting my butt. And I just look up like, yeah. I mean, Meacham, I think back to that play in particular. Uh, turnover, runs it down, strips the ball, comes back. You come away with points off that. It is incredible. So, you know, again, you catch lightning in a bottle. Special things happen when you've got guys that just, we refuse to quit on one another. You know, that, that right there shows like, yo, that was toughness. Like, we, like, no, yes, we messed up. We had, we got your back, Drew. Yeah, we got this pick, but we got your back. Meach you grabbed the ball and we got it back. After we beat the Redskins, uh, being behind and coming back to beat them in the way that we did, um, I think that was the moment that most of us were really on board with. Not only, you know, can we win a Super Bowl, we should win a Super Bowl. Robert Meacham's uh, play was kind of indicative, indicative of, of a team that never gave up, always uh, found a way to make a play. Um, I think those, those were important milestones in that season that, that, uh, that demonstrated, you know, never give up. Um, you can face adversity and, and, you know, overcome it. End of the game, if they make a field goal, they basically ice it. And we, you know, we find a way to get some pressure. They miss it. We go down, we score overtime. We get it back. We kick the field goal. And somehow the football gods granted us a W that night. And we really, I think that was a very um, strong pivotal point of the season and knowing that we are destined for greatness. We go running out of that locker room just like, we did it. You know, we can do it. We can overcome any odds. We can beat anybody, anywhere, anytime. Like that mentality is, is required to go win a big one.